Hello everybody, it's Sephiroth 4 for another episode of Golden Sun The Lost Age. I know I told you I'd meet you by Gondwan, but I lied to you. Uh, as I said last time, uh, in the last episode we went around the Western Sea finally, yay! Also we sold a lot of stuff, but now we're just going to get things forged and processed and I looked it up and I think that the sword and the staff that we found here can actually be of use to us even after getting a whole bunch of new weaponry and stuff, so I'm gonna get that and uh, forge the dragon skin and then we'll head onward. Uh, but yeah, first things first, you gotta do this. Now, I find it funny that if you leave the town and come back, he's done. But if you stay at the inn, that's not, that doesn't work as a trigger. Uh, so here we get the pirate saber. I believe, yeah, that's actually better for you. Um... I haven't seen the fireman pull, uh... Actually, I think we can use it even... Yeah, you know what? Let's equip that. Uh, cause this I think we could just have as a use item. Yeah, cool. Um... So that actually works out. And let's get the staff. So this part of the game is, is where you're going to start doubting whether you've, you even want to come back and forth uh, so much, because we are going to be finding forgeable materials from time to time, some more of the common ones, some more of the rare ones. We're also going to be running into the enemies that actually drop uh, the forgeable materials. So um, you're going to have to make a determination whether you actually want to come back not or not until, as I said, uh, we get the easier way to make it back here. but. Next up we have the Goblin's Rod. Uh, the Goblin's Rod unleashes Sargasso, which is water-based and is an insta-kill. Or can be an insta-kill anyway. Uh, it's a little better for Sheba, but I kind of prefer the Draco Mace that she has already just because it is wind elemental. So even though this has a higher base attack, uh, whenever you get the unleash of the aging gas, it's actually going to be stronger because she is wind. Uh, but yeah, finally, I'm going to give him the dragon skin. Uh, I'm not going to make a save or anything beforehand because I'm not really looking forward to any of the particular things we get. But you have a 20% chance of getting dragon mail, 15% uh, of a dragon robe, 25 each of a shield or a helm, and 15% to get dragon boots. Uh, I honestly don't know the general stats for those, and I don't think any of those will be particularly helpful to us. Um, we're not going to be getting materials to forge into powerful stuff till a little later anyway, so let's see what we get here. We got the dragon robe? Yeah, cool. So that's going to be for... The two people in the middle. Uh, let's take a look at the details. Fire and water resistance. That's actually pretty neat. Uh, so it's mildly better. I'm going to actually see what you guys have on already. You just have a blessed robe, which is yeah, HP recovery. And you have the muni robe, which is the same thing. I'm going to actually give, give this to Sheba, aside from the fact that she has a little less uh, defense, even though she only gets three plus three defense out of this. She is being absolutely annihilated by the. Uh, oh, that works actually. Uh, she is being absolutely annihilated by the enemies in the Western Sea that are using water attacks, like destroyed. So this is actually going to be good for her. But anyway, I'm going to meet you all the way back. I'm not going to keep this. I'm going to meet you all the way back. That's not what I want to sell. On, uh, by the western side of Gondwan. So, see you later. Uh, I think we actually have a new enemy. Or at least one we haven't seen yet in these battles. A vile dirge. You just have the sea fowls here and a little cute little bat. So we're going to blast it into oblivion, as we, you know, normally do. And, uh, yeah. There's, there's a lot of ocean here. We talked about this last episode. Ooh, and Jenna levels up. Was that Piers also? 
I think so, yeah, wow, very nice. Uh, but yeah, we're almost there, so... Let's just, uh... Get this going... Uh... Is that it? No, that can't be it. I think that might actually be it, so let's go around this way. Ooh, uh, and there's the pirate saber thing, scorpion fish. Which can inflict enemies with deadly poison. Which is fantastic! So yeah, I'm very happy I actually went back for that. Um, just a uh, side note for the uh, place we're going to now. I believe it also has a forgeable thing. I believe we're going to be finding a stardust. And the reason why I didn't wait is... <laughs> we're just going to talk through this. The reason why I didn't wait is A, I forgot about it. Uh, and B, the Stardust isn't really going to be giving us much in the way of important items at this point, so it's not something that I felt like I had to go out of my way to get first. Anyway, uh, we're in the veins of Gondwan right now. Uh, I believe we can actually, yeah, use this to get back to Kabombo if we really wanted to. Um, this is actually a nice way to get across the continent in general. Uh, if you so desire, but uh, we're going to use it to head up this way. Also, we're probably going to run into stuff. That is uh, Magma Rock that we learned about on Cult Island in the last episode. We're not going to be going there for a long time. And there's a Wolfkin here, which we're going to annihilate because he's only one enemy. Yay! I'm not cutting that out because it's like five seconds. Uh, but yeah, the reason why I wanted to come here is this. I thought it. Would, I thought this was going to be on the other side over here, but I was wrong. The Gondwan Settlement. Hello. Don't tell me you're here to solve the riddle of the rock. Sh sure. I don't want to scare you, but I think you should reconsider. Even the warriors who survived to make it back do so by the skin of their teeth. Oh dear. Anyway, let's uh, get a cyclone out over here. Ooh, a staircase. Yeah, we could just go around this way. It's a very hard puzzle to crack. I don't think we can... Yeah, there's the Stardust. I don't think we even can go through Magma Rock at this point. I, we are missing several important synergies, I believe. I hear Kabambo's finally chosen a new witch doctor, I man, and now they'll calm down. Yeah, so the uh, Gondwan settlement here is, despite being across the river, is still in contact with the, uh, the rest of the continent, which is kind of neat. There was a giant explosion on the rock the other night. I couldn't get back to sleep at all. Well, it is magma rock. I wouldn't be surprised. But anyway, here we find a lucky metal. Which, again, I ain't going back to Lemuria for a while. We got pretty much everything we needed to there. There's a few uh, pieces of equipment that we probably could benefit from. I don't think the void is going to help us over here. There's a few pieces of equipment we probably could benefit from. But they're not going to make much of a difference at this point. And, uh, yeah, once again, I'm not cutting this out because it's just... It's just gonna be one, two, two attacks. I love Crucible Fire, though. That is a fantastic move. And same with you. The reason why I'm keeping the axe on Pierce, despite having a Hestia Blade for him, or I think it was... Yeah. Uh, is that his, uh, unleash, uh, reduces the foe's resistance. And it's nice to just have a bit of variety in that way. But uh, yeah, now that we're here, we can just head out here. Um, I like the fact that the boats can uh, ignore... Uh, don't. I mean, not the boats, that the, the, the rivers uh, completely ignore enemy encounters. It's great. Uh, but yeah, so we are actually going to be heading off to the Hesperia settlement now. So yay. Again, it's just going to take us all the way around here. Bit of a weird statement, but I like the layout of the eastern half of the world a lot better than the western half of the world. Um, if that makes any sense. I just feel like it is... Um, it's a bit cramped over here and everything is kind of laid out funny. Um, just with the, way, with the way that everything is shaped and stuff, they kind of had to cram three four-ish continents and, you know, ha or two and two halves and two and three halves of continents in this tinier space. 
I don't know. Um, but it also feels like we've made significant progress, too. It feels like we're, we're in the second half of the game, and we really are. Uh, things are going to progress pretty fast from this point forward. Uh, just in terms of plot. Uh, where, you know, we have a majority of the Ginny at this point. Uh, and, yeah. There's really not much left to explore. And that's kind of sad, but it's also, you know, nice to know that the filler is coming to a close for the most part. There's still going to be a lot to do in this game. Um, outside of the story, but it's going to be concise. Anyway, now we're back in the Hesperia Settlement. Hooray! Uh, this one has... Let's see. Stuff. There's stuff here. Hello. You must be very brave to come all the way here by boat. Yeah, I am very. I am brave. Thank you for noticing. For a continent as desolate as this one, there sure have been a lot of boats here lately. Uh huh. Hello. There's a place called Shaman Village in the middle of the continent. Suppo oh, sorry. Supposedly one of the rivers leads to it. I have no idea which one though. Yeah, that's a clue that you can use your boat in the rivers, guys. Hello. People shine in village are very wary strangers. Be careful if you ever meet them. Alright. Anything up here? Oh, nope. That is useless. <laughs> I always like this music. Okay, so let's head up over here. And get ourselves growth. that back <laughs> and up here all right so what we have to do is drop this in the correct spot and what that correct spot is uh, let's see actually do, do, do. I would assume I would assume we want yeah, we want to drop it over here, so we can move it over. Otherwise, we'll either drop it on the Ginny, which is just kind of rude, or drop it into nowhere where we can't reach it. Normally, I would go for the rude method, but not right now. And whatever that cave is over there, I want to check out too. There's got to be something in there. Something strange in the neighborhood. And there we go. We get ourselves a brand new Jenny. Hello. You got a dating website, or app, or whatever it is. Uh, no, Tinder. Revives the downed ally. So now she has Spark and Tinder. That's actually kind of weird that both of those would go to the Mars person, but, you know, I'm not complaining. One, two, three. So you have seven now, right? Yeah, cool. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's good times. Um... Let's see, and yeah, we're actually going to be getting a whole bunch of Ginny right now. We're going to be getting everybody up to 7, I think. Let's get 166 coins, and I think that's it here. Excuse me. So, let's see, from here we want to go... We want to go... I think we want to go around this side of the continent, actually. Yeah, so let's, let's head around the continent. 
Uh, right now we're going to be looking for a uh, Ginny on the world map. So, yeah. Again, oh boy, sacred feather from that fight. Uh, everything here kind of seems like it's just laid out haphazardly. You're going to have to go around and all over the place and over and under and through to get to a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, yeah, I think we have to keep going around there. The rivers in the middle here don't really link up, so you're going to have to take specific ones to get to specific ways. Ooh, I think that was Sheba. And I found 51 coins in the shells, that's great. Um, this might have actually been a better idea to pick up around the time we were heading around to Cult Island, but eh. I'm actually okay with this just because uh, I don't want to be caught under leveled at this point in the game because we're going to be in situations. <laughs> There's going to be situations coming up. But anyway, I think if we follow this all the way to its end. And let's see. There should be... let's just set everybody here. I think... Yes! Okay, cool. Venus Jenny, right there. Uh, let's have Shiba use Eclipse, because why not? It's nice to be able to show off a new Jenny anyway. Just in case. Stone Spire, good. Don't care. Ow! Look at that guy. I don't think we showed off Eclipse. It wouldn't make sense if we did. Yeah. 665. Uh, by the way, this Ginny has... 830 health. And yeah, Judgment is going to destroy him. Yay! Ooh, Felix is level 30 now. And yeah, the Venus Ginny Petra. Uh, Petra will turn a foe to stern, stern, stone. Turn to stone when you're coming home. Blue Bolt, that's that's kind of cool. I don't think I've seen that one before. Anyway, let's... Um, there we go. Just need to get stats back. Uh, you, please heal our party. Heal us all. Yeah, use the heal us all spell. Next up, we are gonna head to. We are going to head to. Uh, Ateka, I think. Right? I think so. Uh, we're gonna be going all the way down here now. Yeah, I, I know. I believe we're going to be heading to this beach, and doing a whole load of, whole heck of a lot of walking. So yeah, I'm just going to meet you there. I'm I don't want to waste your time. All right. So yeah, if I didn't mention also before, uh, this is the continent of Ateca. This is the continent of Hesperia, Ingara, Gondwan. Um, Indra, Osenia, Tandaria. So yeah. Also something I mentioned in the description of two videos ago, uh, maybe two videos ago, uh, the way that the world map is, it's based on the uh, idea of Pangea, uh, of how the continents of the world, our world, looked before I just got to talk through him, uh, looked before they separated into where they are today. Uh, especially the Pangea is what uh, the maps... Uh, we have a new enemy, Slayer. Uh, Pangea is what the maps that uh, uh, the Lemurians have of their own civilization looked like, as opposed to the one that uh, 
Lunpa uh, brawl with him. So, uh, Lunpa is more like uh, Lorasia, I think. I think so. Or, no, uh, Gondwana, maybe? But yeah, Gondwana is named that because of, of thing named Gondwana. So, I believe the one that we want is right here, kind of dead center in the map. There it is! The Mars Jenny! Nice! It's nice to just run into them immediately. Uh, this Mars Jenny has 840 health. So, again, we're just gonna use the same strategy we did before. Two people with Eclipse, which should be nice. Supernova, luckily we're all healed up for that. Ooh, ow, 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 ow! <laughs> so it happens when you don't have any, uh, Jenny. 510, so yeah, one more attack will obviously do it. Judgment. Yay! And this is the Mars Genie Core. Uh, core can strike through an enemy's defense, and as you can see, it opened up another, uh, another, uh, uh, not layer, thing, place, place thing, thing for us. Um, I want to see if this gives uh, Jenna anything new since she's the first one to actually have eight. Uh, no, nothing new, but she does go from Fire Master to Justice. <laughs> so yeah, she's on the Supreme Court now, it's cool. Um, Can I... No, I could just trade with you. Okay, so I'll wait till that's better, but yeah. That is actually going to do it for this episode, though. Next time, we're actually going to continue with the plot, I promise. I'm going to meet you. I'm going to meet you. I think we want to take this river in. So I'm going to meet you over there. It's going to be one of these two rivers in. As, they, as the people in Hesperia Settlement said, um, you have to take a river in and... and find the shaman place or whatever so yeah i'm gonna meet you somewhere around here so yeah thank you all very much for watching this has been several tool four let's play golden sun the lost age thank you very much and i'll see you guys next time goodbye everybody bye bye